What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI as well. And what we're going to be doing right now, we're going to try to figure out who can return this pick six first. Now, you're probably looking at it like Jerome Bettis. Like, what's going on with that? Now, let me just explain something um, about this whole situation, right? Um, Jerome Bettis is a, what is he, like a left end or a right end? He's technically, he technically just doesn't really have to pick it. He just has to be able to run it back for six. But the other dudes, like Julio Jones, free safety, the Bo Jackson, strong safety, um, you know, Calvin Johnson, free safety, those guys, they got to pick it. You know what I'm saying? When I'm saying like we're turning it for six or pick six, pretty much the D linemen, I'm not expecting them to pick the ball because they pretty much suck for the most part. Look, everybody's going to drop a pick. Um, more than likely, you're going to drop nine picks a game. Look, it is what it is. We got to learn how to deal with it as men. If you go through a game where you didn't drop one pick, you're probably not human, bro. You're probably, yo, listen, you're probably one of the EA developers. If you, because I don't know how people don't go through games and drop picks. A lot of dudes run around talking about, oh, yeah, bro. I He caught that? Oh, yeah, he caught. All right, yo, do me yo, do me dry, dog. But um, a lot of people that, you know, usually frequent my chats, whether it's Twitch or YouTube, the first thing they say is, oh, yeah, uh, I don't drop picks. I'm like, yo, what, what are these? Are they playing the same game? Do they not realize that EA put that in the game to make people try to just do wild things to themselves and their remote? Like, I'm telling you right now, I got a video coming soon where I dropped so many picks, I didn't even understand what's going on. I thought I was in the Matrix, bro. Like, I don't really know why anyone would design a game where your user, like, you you playing the play results in bad things for you. Like, why would they, it doesn't make any, like, if you just think about it and you analyze it, why would why would they do that? Unless they hate you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to start thinking about the wildest things. But let's not even get into that. Um, the bottom line is a lot of the out-of-position players are really, really good, right? And um, why did he just drop on the ground? Yeah, get up, go, get up and throw a dot. Throw a dot, too. Yep. Throw a dot. Right there. Yep. Freaking idiot. All right, run it back for six. Run it back for six. Bo Jackson, go. Go. Just go for six. Okay, who? who why is that guy so fast? Who is that? Who? Oh, he's backpedaling? Get off me, punk mother. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So, look. Pretty much right now. We already see. We already saw who returned the pick six first, right? So if you guys lost the bet, you guys got look. Just don't lie, bro. Because I'm looking at the way that you guys write the answer in, and you guys are usually after the point of the video. Because it's like only the first couple people that watch it um, really can actually play the game. Because a lot of you guys cheat, and you look in the comments, and you're like, oh, and you just do it like that. But some of you guys, you know, you're honest, and you try to figure out which guy it could be. But a lot of you guys are just savages. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the way it is, man. It ain't no way I could really tell except for, like, the first, like, 50 people that watch the video. And that's usually, like, within the first 10 minutes. So I just look at it and I see and try to analyze. And then, you know, after that, oh, okay. Are we going back for six? Are we going back for six, too? All right, Calvin Johnson. All right, so all right, so Calvin Johnson, he, you know, he just fell on the ground like an idiot. He, he held on to this? You see, I'm starting to think now that that Calvin Johnson might be glitchy. Go ahead and leave a like if you think that he's glitchy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he is, though. Like, you guys got to convince me. I'm really about to get rid of him, but I just don't know who I'm going to replace him with because, you know, that zero chill and the plus one speed and all that stuff is kind of enticing until you realize that you can't burn anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you look at it on the surface, you're like, yo, this dude is mad fast, but he's not, though. And I can't really explain it to people when they ask me, you know, Jimai, is it really worth it to get the zero chill uniforms? And the guys that don't understand how to get it, some of you guys just got Madden for Christmas. I have both the videos, all right? But uh, long story short, pretty much what you have to do, you have to go into your solo section and play both the Zero Chill and the Snow Beast solos, and then you have to complete um, like a Snow Beast um, boss set and then a Zero Chill set, and then you'll get the trophy. It'll be in your objectives and progress, but the videos are here available um, right here on Jumai's World on YouTube. So you should be able to get those Zero Chill uniforms uh, still, I, I don't think they're going to make it expire until, like, what, like, January 8th or something like that, they said? I don't know. Maybe it expires later. I don't know, bro, because it wouldn't make sense for them to make it expire sooner than that because a lot of people obviously just got the game, and they're probably just understanding what's going on uh, with the game itself. But um, looking into this game right here with this guy, I, I don't really know what this guy's plan was other than to get blown out, but I got to give him a lot of credit. See, that's the thing, like, you see, like, how he holds on to that? I know that every receiver drops the ball. But he, for some reason, he holds on to the ball a lot better. And I don't know. It Maybe maybe I'm seeing things because I want to see things. I don't really know, guys. That's why I need your feedback to make me analyze, should I raid sell him and see his wife in the knee? Don't say the E. Or should I keep him for now? Because he does get the plus one speed. And, you know, I don't – it's just weird because I know that he's going to let me down. I just don't know when he's going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he – it's ridiculous, too. In one of the other games, I actually was able to – um. 
you know, go back and do an old-fashioned rocket catch with him, like right down the field in the coverage. I, but I don't know if that was because EA just felt like, let me do whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you'll be in the game, and then it's just like, I'm about to just throw the ball up in the air because you're just frustrated, but you're winning, but you're still mad at the game. It doesn't really make sense. Like, I've been trying to explain stuff to people. I don't care if I'm winning or losing. I'm going to react the same way because the game is wild. Like, right there, what is, why is Johnson behind him acting like he's picking the ball? You see what I'm saying? Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. He should be trying to engage. It, if he knows that the guy in front caught the ball, but that's, like I said, I don't know exactly what the mechanics are going on with, um, you know, things that happen within the game. Why is he getting trucked like that? Who is that? That's a fullback, right? Yeah, yeah, because he just trucked Calvin Johnson with no problem. So, obviously, the guy is Jesus. I don't, I don't really know what that was about right there. Who? Oh, that's Nick's? Hold on, what's Nick's catch rating? Yo, somebody give me, yo, somebody, pl pl yo, fly it into me real quick. Fly it at Nick's catch rating. Because a dude could catch, bro, the dude catches like Jerry Rice and trucks like Adrian Peterson. Does he have those stats that formulate that? Or is that just something that EA felt like doing right there? See, that, those are the things that I got to ask. And um, for a lot of you guys that are newer to the channel, um, pretty much what we try to do here, we try to figure out, like, I I'm not even going to try to analyze what actually goes on in the game. We're just going to do challenges. You know what I'm saying? Because it, at this point, it doesn't really, like, like look, right, like, the ball was stuck in his chest right there. You see what I'm saying? And he just let it drop. And I don't understand why that just happened. And then he's celebrating. And the weird thing about it is, when you turn the ball over, they still celebrate. Yo, write, write it in the comments if you if you were like if you were down by like two, and you tried to get into the you know field goal range, and your dude dropped the wide open pass and started celebrating, and you lost the game. Go ahead and like the video too. Like this, get, yo. Then now he picks the ball and it looks like it went through his arm. See, there goes Julio Jones. So look, Julio Jones picked the ball. Calvin Johnson picked the ball also. All right. But I think Bo Jackson was the one earlier to take it back for six. So if you already won the bet, you won the bet. But now the reason that I put the other cards, you know, their names in the title is because everybody intercepted the ball. You see what I'm saying? But now we got to see what Jerome Bettis does. And like I told you, you, I would have to say it's probably like maybe a 70% chance you could intercept the ball with a D lineman. I, I, I'm trying to analyze it the proper way because they, all of them dropped the ball. You see what I'm saying? So if the defenders and the middle linebackers drop the ball, you already know what the DN is going to do. So that's what I'm saying. With the pick six, is no way, like, I don't want to say fumble six. I'm just going to include them in the pick six right here. But that out of position, Jerome Bettis, if you don't have one of them, and you, like, you really need to get them. And it doesn't matter who the right tackle is, he's going to go right around, uh, right around them. And, um, you know, it's really, really frustrating. That they have a out of that they have a running back that's the best lineman in the game, but I think he's up there as far as edge rusher. This dude just comes right in, and Okoye, he's even worse at D tackle, because I'm telling you right now, I don't know if it's this video, but I played a dude right. He was he was playing um the Devils D cover four drop. Uh, that's what we call it around these parts, the Devils D. So look, he was running cover four drop right, and he was rushing like nobody. I think he probably had Okoye in the spy, and I ran play action. And Okoye just jumped over my entire O-line and just punched me in the face and sacked me. And I still don't know how it happened, but I was very, very excited about it. You know what I'm saying? I was really, really happy that it happened to me. Um, so I was that happy that I stopped my stream and turned it off immediately. Uh, but yeah, like I said, a lot of these out-of-position players are very, very good. So you have to analyze what you need. And I recently put out a video trying to explain to you guys why I have certain players. So when you're looking at your team and you're like, yo, let me try to put this guy here and all that stuff like that. You have to try to build a team. If you're going for overall, you can go ahead and put somebody better above the person, but make sure that you sub in these glitchy players because they just play better. And it's weird. Oh, oh yeah, he got swerved. He just stood there. Why did he get swerved and just stand there, though? I don't know what he was doing. Who, who was that? Who, who's, the, who's that guy right there? Fly, yo, bro, fly in his information real quick. That number 21 dude. I don't even know who he was. Um, but when you go ahead and you try to figure out a lot of the things that work, you will find that a lot of the lower overall players – are better. For instance, I'm only starting LaDainian Tomlinson right now because he makes me a 92 overall, but after I win the 10 games and get what is like 20k for like improving overall, I'm going to go back and start Michael Vick again. You see what I'm saying? Because LaDainian Tomlinson is garbage and he knows that and we know it as an organization, but he brings up the overall of the team. And a lot of the perks that you get for uh, increasing your overall is worth it to get the coins. You understand what I'm saying? So pretty much that's something that you're going to have to probably look into is looking at the video I just, you know, recently posted where it's called Year in Review, and I kind of analyze the players that I have and make you understand why I have them. But they don't have to start. Just remember that. They don't have to start. Just put them in the game. 
and then just terrorize your opponent. And like I said, I had people confess to me, what is he doing? What? See, these are the kind of animations. I don't even know what's... Oh, get juke too. Like, I had a dude confess to me. He's like, bro, I run Wham! on conservative with Adrian Peterson. Bro, if you're one of my subs, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, I'm not going to be mad at you for doing that. You see what I'm saying? We just hate other people that do it. It's kind of weird, bro. Like, if you're not part of the fam, we're like, yo, we hate you. But at the same time, okay, he didn't even try to react to that. Why didn't he react to the ball that was thrown right there as an out route? You see, just do what you do. But this is just another tip to let you guys understand. If you're trying to get your overall, you just want your overall high, all that stuff like that, you can still do it and sub. Oh, my goodness. That hit was crazy. So, look, Jerome Bettis, is he going to take him back for six? This is technically his pick six right here. And I don't know. Why is Ben Roethlisberger running so slow, though? So everybody everybody got something back for six. I think everybody in the title did. So if you won and you were honest about it, let me know in the comments. If you didn't and you're trying to lie, obviously we're going to know about it. Can you probably, you know, just, just, just comment lurking and then putting it in there. So you can be like, oh, yo, I won you by it. No, you didn't, bro. I'm going to see you guys later, man. Happy holidays. Until next time, one love.